everybody. Good to be with you. Madian, Astro, Oracles, and um, thank you for being here. I am in Ireland, rural Ireland, where I've been for about a, a week. And um, stuff going on, I haven't had uh, too much time to um, to make videos, but I did want to, to bring you some um, energetic uh, feels and uh, vibes from, from this magical landscape. And um, the dragons are very active in these days. So I want to check in with Flip and the gang of the ancient shapeshifting uh, reptilians to um, learn something about islands and energy centers and how they are connected to the draconic and um, how we can work in um, these coming times and in this um, in this age of activation to um, to align and work with these uh, specific energy centers in the landscapes. So uh, much uh, love to you guys and thank you for being here. speaking as a representative of the ancient shape-shifting reptilians, I flip just flip for short for those of you who prefer to address me as such, I greet you from on high and I am most pleased to be able to inform you this day. Many speculations have been offered into the energy sensors and portals that dot your planet and you are aware that on the continents there are many rich confluences, energy points often surrounded to peaks and valleys, often surrounded to ley lines of different landscapes and energies connecting and being focused into certain sensors and yet in these island structures that also dot your planet, you find more concentrated energies present. These energies, they are accessible at these points exactly because they are concentrated. And so if you have ever visited an island, you may find that there is a certain sense of limitation that sets into your feeling of being located in space. That is, you find yourself restricted and you find that it would take yet another journey and arrangement of a vessel, a crossing of the seas or a journey through the skies in order to be able to escape this island where you now find yourself. And yet this is exactly the enticing promise that this island landscape offers. And here we are more specifically addressing or translating our energies into the physical circumstances of the island you know as Ireland. And therefore, we will use this island as an example of these different concentrated energies that you will find in a landscape. Here we find ourselves approximately to the middle of the island and here we find ourselves in some of the denser points of this geographical structure that is the landmass of the island itself is weighing in upon itself and this means that the central energy is released. This is all also why we are not too far from that place called the terror that was observed by the body translating us not too long ago and this in and of itself is tapping into the ley lines of this island landscapes and of this island landscape and here you may find within this landscape the energies of transgression are concentrated and therefore you may also find that the specific obsession that you may connect to the peoples in this place is one of keeping a lid on things because everything is boiling over. There is a 
type of jovial playfulness, almost um, mean-spirited or hurtful character to the free release of energies, the way that the mocking little people, spirits, fairies, leprechauns, all those creatures that you associate with this place, that they intrude into human reality and make a mockery of human pretensions. And so this is creating a type of earthly enchantment, a connection to the land where the land itself seems as a portal into a removed type of reality, a reality that is concerned more with the effervescent nuances of its own energetic play rather than connecting into material solidity. There is a playfulness about here and this playfulness you can use and work with for instance in connecting to our energy. What so many of you have failed to appreciate is that our energy is very helpful as long as it is not approached from a strictly moral standpoint, but rather is approached in the way of wisdom, rather is approached in the way of playful engagement with reality. Indeed, we are playing with reality, playing with you and engaging with you, playing a very interesting game in this communication. All these things we would like to communicate as we return to the topic of energy centers on your planet. And so these island codes Many of you interacting with this message may feel that you have been drawn to seek out more exclusive geographical configurations. That is an element of solitude or purity in your landscape, the places you walk in daily, the places that surround you. You prefer to be in places that have a more serene quality. And this, you may sense, becomes amplified into a drive towards a greater degree of removal from the codes of construction that already inform your life and from that point you will find yourself then informed by a creative urge to build for yourself a new reality and new landscapes and some of you a majority of you compared to the general population of humanity will find that you are drawn to these very specific energy centers in order to be able to build these specific energy configurations. And so notice that there will be specific ley line activations around the planet. That is, you may find, for instance, that in the island configurations of the Azores or the Canary Islands, passing on to the islands in the Philippines passing on again to Hawaii and then passing on in particular to the island of, we believe it might be called Santo Domingo in the Caribbean, but this powerful North Equatorial ley line is one that will begin to act activate much of the volcanic creativity of the tonic forces that reside within both the human collective and in the human collective's relationship to its planet. This is a cryptic message intentionally as it is for you to uncover how you will work with this draconic energy. You may then find that on a place such as the Yucatan, you may find that in northern Sudan and you may find also approximately in the area of Laos, you will see another nodal point activated. This is another equatorial draconic code. The draconic codes are strongest around the equator. And here, many of you may want to undertake the circumference. You may want to undertake the draconic pilgrimage. And so, should you want to explore this topic further, we are most happy to map out a route for you develop a program, develop a route of activation that you can follow. But we wish to pique your interest with this announcement, and it is for you to understand that as many things are dissolving in your collective, the continents will become 
far more difficult for you to navigate in their energetic fluxes in this coming decade of 2020 or this period of time that you are already experiencing. And here you may want to seek a type of refuge as you restructure and allow yourself to bring forward the primordial energies that you are created from and that you in channeling and activating these energies are bringing forward into a more powerful, more empowered, more creative, more loving, more centered and more integrated caring and nurturing role of mankind. Therefore, with that message, I flip krach through kral of the ancient shape-shifting reptilians. I will leave you this day, bidding you and greeting you with power, honor, strength, love. Gotta love them dragons.